What's up everybody? My name is the All Black Shredder and this is TheBoardTest.com. Today we are reviewing the 2011 Burton Hero and it is a rocker and it's wideboard. This is a 155 with a waist width of 200 and 261. So it's quite similar to the K2 WWW except it's got four mils shorter in the um, waist width so it may be able to turn a bit quicker. Flex and rider style flex rating of three out of 10. So one being soft, 10 being stiff. So expect this board to be very, very buttery. And it also said, expect you to cover like a samurai sword. Oh, that's lovely. This thing is meant for park and cruising around and it's gonna be very jib jibby and flexy. It's gonna ride a lot like the K2 WWW. That's what I'm picking and I'll basically sort of compare it to that. Let's try it out. All right, hero wide, let's get rolling. Initial feel, what does initially feel like? Feels very light. Wait, I'll give it a few more turns. I'm, I might be premature, I need, to, I need to really, you know, let it soak in, simmer around. It's like wine tasting. You really need to, you know, air it out. Okay, so small range turns, quite effective. It does feel like it's rolling from edge to edge pretty quick. It's holding its side cut quite well, like it's not gluggy and skidding out. I'll get into some medium turns. The rocker kind of bumps over it quite well. That's all right. And I'm gonna give this thing some pop. Let's see what it's got. Whoa, jeez. That thing had some pop, didn't it? Let's switch, some switch turns. It rides almost identical to the to Goofy and it's supposed to which is kind of nice on twin tip you know sometimes they say twin tip but it right it really rides you right and it switch and it doesn't feel like it and let's try some ollies good pop and hillside pop okay let's give it a 5-0 test they reckon it's a 3 out of 10 so it should be able to just whoa there you go Woo! <laughs> Woo! whoa uh yes that is very flexy and ready Instant feel, pretty good. It's a lot more effective edge to edge than I thought it would be and a lot more responsive. Let's get to the park and let's test it out. It's top of the park, let's get into it. I'll start with a tail block here, test out this flex. <laughs> that definitely did flex about a three. Actually, I say it's a four though, not a three, it's a four. Let's, let's go hit this down bar and a jump and see what this rock is like on a jump. See what it does. Woo! Right, it's a 30. Alright, coming into the first jump. Nice. Good. So I went back five, landed on my toe side edge, and it instantly just caught up. That's good, because usually sometimes with rockers, you'll get that washout after you hit a jump, where it kind of just catches around. So the side cut actually picked in quite good in that, which is sweet. I'll try a gap front board. Yeah. Oh. Alright, I like this board. <laughs> what should I do? How about I try full five? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's so fun. <laughs> Should I keep going? Oh, I think I'm gonna. I was gonna stop, but I'm gonna keep going. Woo! Hey, what's this like switch carving? Dude, that's a good line. For a rocker, I don't know what it is, but whether it's the beam in between it, it definitely still flexes. It kind of still operates even like a cambered board, which is weird. So, good job. Let's hit this here. Got it, head. Okay, what do I think? Well, see it says intermediate to advanced. Because it's a V-Rocker and it's flexy, I don't agree with that. I think you don't need to be even just an intermediate rider. You can even be a bit less than and still have fun with it. It's very responsive. It's a lot more responsive than the WWW. WWW was a, like four mils wider, although that was fun and buddy rear as well. But having a more responsive side cut, it allows you to have more options than just kind of like being on a, pe like a not dead wood, but I think it gets you more well-rounded. You can actually do more shit. I mean, stuff. <laughs> so, if you are a bigger rider, maybe a bit, bit of a wide foot, the Hero is pretty legit. I find it, it held quite well considering what I was doing. Like, on that back five, you saw it when I landed. If that was like a normal rocket, it would have washed out, but it didn't. So, it's a pretty decent board. Mid-range, soft, buttery, and it is still flexy too. They say it's a three flex. I give it a four. And it's actually, it was, a, it was a fun ride. And something like this with a rocker, you also could ride it a bit bigger so if, if, if it is like a powder or something as well you, it could probably still float up better than just being like a cambered park board so overall pretty happy this has been the hero uh 2011 uh wide i'm the all black shredder this is the board test see you next time